So I first learned of um, Hattie being uh, brought in from the ocean to Billy Coppersmith's boat on Friday afternoon. And I was super excited. Billy is a lobsterman uh, that we contract with. So we buy 100% of his catch and she's been in our tank um, since, since then. Yeah, so we'll have um, uh, Hattie in quarantine for a little bit, probably for until like mid to uh, later next week. We just want to make sure that, you know, obviously she's eating, doing well, you know, kind of, you know, stress-free, and then we'll put her um, into the exhibit hall, awesome. which um, she'll be on display for, you know, people to, uh, to visit and to look at her. That's awesome. And what is the rarity of She is uh, one in 100 million. So the only thing that's just as rare is the albino, which is just totally white. And to give you some perspective, people catch a blue lobster, it's about one in 30 million. So she's incredibly rare. And you think about, so lobsters, you know, they have seals and other fish come after them. And that's why they're brown green, that's their defense mechanism. Well, imagine being bright, glowing cotton candy. Um, <laughs> it's super tough for her to stay alive. So. Awesome. Yeah. so we're excited that she's here. And is there a way for you to estimate how old this lobster might be based on the size? Or do you well, you can do the size, so probably like five to seven, could you guess? Yeah, somewhere? exactly. Between five to seven. Okay. So. And Rob, why um, do we have different varieties of lobster here? What are the teaching, teachable moments that lobsters such as this present? Uh, most people think lobsters is like a red type color. Most because they see them when they're cooked, either that or in the store when they're like the really brown, you know, kind of reddish color, uh, things like that. But these, um, you know, the blue, you know, orange, yellow, you know, whatever it is, um, it's very interesting because it is a genetic um, a mutation, like of the genes. So then they're only expressing, you know, certain colors. And certainly this one, you know, with these, uh, you know, different color blues, you know, we've never had, you know, any uh, lobster this particular color before. So. This is uh, very intriguing for you know visitors to come in and kind of look at um, you know and to learn about you know, lobsters. How long do you expect um, it to take for it to acclimate to our, our water? Um, it should be you know right now it's already kind of starting the acclimation uh, period. So um, we just want to make sure that you know kind of happy and healthy before we put it on display. But uh, hopefully you know by next week, um, mid to late week, you know will be. Uh, be good to go. Well, I really appreciate uh, you know letting, yeah. letting us uh, you know take this lobster from you. This is great. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully we can um, you know kind of continue the partnership a little bit with our new you know lobster exhibit that we'll be you know having in, uh, this winter. Um, starting that. Yeah, I mean I just want her to have the best opportunity to have a long time. Yeah. I don't think if we put her back in, she would survive. And just too bright to mm. Right. So. Okay. So her her um, future is brighter here at the Seco Science Center. You think exactly. that in the wild? Unintended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Thank you.